Boxing King Media in association with Box Row. Boxing Royalty, all the way from the US, Timothy Bradley. Tim, you're out here on an all-female card. In, in all your time in boxing, did you ever think you'd experience something like, like an all-female card? No, no, not at all. Um, it just shows you the direction that female boxing is going in. Uh, this is a great start. Uh, I think that you had uh, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano that really set the bar really high, selling out Madison Square Garden, man, and, and putting on a spectacular show the way they did, man. They sold a lot, a lot of pay-per-views as well, um, or uh, what do you call it, subscriptions, whatever it was on. But it was it was a fantastic event. Um, this is just moving the women's boxing into another dimension. All female card. Uh, you have two fights at the top that can be both of them are main events like you got two main event type of style fights in the in the at the top of the at the top of the hour so um it's fantastic i'm glad to be here man i'm glad to be here i won my title here on this soil man not in london but in nottingham but i won my title here man it's always great to be back here yeah man you beat my guy junior it was from my town as well Wait, please. Uh, yeah, Witter. Uh, yeah, I still respect Witter, man. Boy was a beast, man. Yeah, it took me it took me a long time to really figure him out. Underrated fighter. Uh, you know, in the main event today, how key are the two trainers? Peter Fury, I believe Gerald Tucker's going to be in the corner of Clarissa Shields. How key are them two guys in a fight that's so closely contested? Wow. I, I think John David Jackson is a fantastic trainer, too. And, you, of course, the Furies, man. I mean, they speak for, their, they speak for themselves. Um, this is a fantastic matchup. Uh, I just think that you know, stylistically, I, I think, I think both girls, both females have a chance to win. They really do. Um, I would say that Savannah Marshall, of course, has more power. That's that's all we hear. We're hearing about the power, but we don't really hear about the timing. Her timing, her her punch placement is fantastic as well. Her movement, her legs, her controlling of distance is fantastic. Um, she 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 brings a lot to the table for Carissa Shields. Carissa Shields, no, hasn't faced a girl like her, but she hasn't faced a girl like Carissa Shields either. Someone that's that's sharp, quick, you know, like a knife, chop you up, you know. Uh, someone that has a great ring IQ like Carissa Shields. Someone that believes in herself, that's hungry, determined, you know, just as well as she is. And someone that's undefeated like this. She's never been in the ring with a with a savage like Carissa Shields, man. Um, so. I know early on amateurs or whatever you can you can live you can live on that, but that's the past. This the present, man. Both these women are not the same as they was in the past. Just put it that way. Different. No headgear, smaller gloves, brighter lights, and where I'm hearing a whole lot of talk about this 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 uh, hostile territory for a woman like Krista Shields. It don't matter where you fight. It don't matter with her. She calls herself the goat, man. The goat. It don't matter where the fight is at. It'd be, in, it'd be in Savannah's backyard, mama's backyard, daddy's house, cousin. So it don't matter, man. That doesn't matter. At the end of the day, skills pay the bills. And we're going to find out who got the best skills in the world, in this division. And I, I personally believe that it's Carissa Shields. But, you know, like I said, one punch, man, is the ultimate equalizer. That's all it takes. A trap that you don't see, light turn your lights off, and you're wondering what the hell happened. Most people are expecting... Marshall by knockout or Clarissa on points. That's what people are saying. Oh my God. Can you see Can you see Savannah at boxing uh, shields to win them points? Uh, they said knockout? Oh my God, what are you judging by? Man, how? I'm asking the people, how? How? A knockout? Stop. See, man, they better stop playing, man. Stop playing with me. This is a two-time Olympian we talking about. Someone with superior IQ in that side of that ring. Someone that dominated everybody she been in the ring with. Someone that got knocked down, been drug, been been knocked down, get up, and then finish the fight and win decisively. Un, you know, in that decision. So like, when you say knockdown, nah, knockout, nah, that ain't happening. That's not happening at all. Um, I would say, I would say this. The reason why I'm picking Carissa Shields to win this fight is, is because I'm picking her because. One, the volume, she's gonna put the pressure on Savannah. She's gonna put that pressure on Savannah. All right, two, Savannah's footwork is kind of iffy to me. Iffy, real iffy. Another reason is Savannah, she drops her hands. She gets hit with right hands quite often. Quite often, right hands, open for the right hand. She throws her jab from her hip. You know, all these things, when you get in there with a fighter that has a ring IQ, like a, like a Carissa Shields, she takes advantage of all the holes and all the opportunities that's given to her. Marshall hasn't fought anybody with the speed that she's going to be facing. The speed, the quickness, the toughness, the grit, the strength. 
She ain't faced nobody like that. Come on, man. All look, Marshall's a great fighter, man. She's shown she's shown her class in fights. But bro, like, who has she fought that's close, even close to Carissa Shields, man? Even close. Think about that now. Interesting view viewpoints, Tim. Man, look, look, man, look. At the end of the day, look. I'm looking at I'm looking at overall I'm looking at overall experience. Who each of these girls have faced? Who is their toughest opponents? I'm looking at all of that. Then I'm looking at their style. You know, that's the most important thing. Looking at the openings. Two punches that I would say that that uh, that Chris Shields got to watch out for. She got to watch out for the uppercut and she got to watch out for the left hook. All right, those are two punches she got to watch out for. She was dropped by an uppercut. In one of her fights, I saw an inner left hook, short left hook, and those two punches right there are dangerous punches that she can get caught with if she attacks at the wrong time. So, but Chris Shields, I'm going with Chris Shields all day, and it's not because she's American. It's not none of that. Nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. Not because she's black. Nothing to, nothing to do with that. It's because when you're great, moments like this you live for. I believe that she's great. I truly believe she's great. So. I think she's going to come through. I think she's going to come through and she's going to show out and she's going to show that there's levels to this game. Thank you, Tim. Just a quick word on the AJ Joshua, uh, sorry, Joshua Fury uh, talk. Um, some people are saying AJ shouldn't fight Fury next. I heard you talking in a previous stop interview being about soft, being man. old school. They better, man, stop being soft on these fighters, man. That's the problem with boxing. We all soft on these fighters, man. Stop being soft. Everybody give me a hard time for being, being, you know, being honest with these fighters. Man, stop being, being soft with these fighters, bro. AJ, get in the ring. Go, fight Fury, bro. Like, fight him, man. What you waiting on? Fighters in a, back in the past, the greatest fighters in the world, they fought often. Three, four, five, six, seven times a year. They you fought guys back to back as well? Oh, I, I, why not? You know, I mean, when I got to the top, the, different, the business was different, but it was like one fight at a time. But like, it's so many dates that you have, so many dates that you have, and so many. Uh, freaking uh, uh, TV dates and so many networks, man. Like, these guys can be fighting more often, man. And I'm starting to see the younger crowd, the younger fighters fighting more often now. You got Canelo Alvarez fighting four times a year. He's the biggest draw in boxing. Why is anybody else doing that? AJ, get your butt back in the gym. You want to be great? It's an opportunity. You want to erase all the bad things that happened in the past, all those defeats that everybody remember? Get in there and try to go in there and knock out Tyson Fury. You do that, everything that happened in the past, that now that gets erased. They you you gonna be be loved by the fans. They gonna love you. For you stay with Robert Garcia, do you think? Why not? Why not? Why not? I thought Robert Garcia did a good job against uh with him and uh, Usyk. He he definitely put on a better fight. It was a closer fight than what people gave it. I thought I rewatched the fight. It was a close fight, a really close fight. Um. Yeah, why not? Stay with Robert Garcia. I, I thought he did a tremendous job with him, getting him ready. Uh, AJ has to do his job when he stepped foot in that ring. He just was in there with a freaking buzzsaw when it comes to uh, Usyk. Usyk is just, I mean, he's a smaller guy. He can maneuver, get in and out. It's tough, bro. It's that's tough to deal with, especially you being a big heavyweight. You know, so um, Fury is, is even more elusive. He's a bigger guy, bigger target. But I think that, I think that AJ... And his style, they match up well. AJ can punch, man. He got a right hand. He got a right hand. And you know that the right hand, the right hand gives Fury, can give Fury problems because we've seen Deontay Wilder drop more right hand. So don't be sleeping on AJ when if he fights Fury. You know, my money's on Fury, but don't sleep on AJ. All it takes is one punch in the, the night, and it's a wrap. Tim, it's been an honor and pleasure to speak bro, to you. I've followed your career. Big fan of you. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.